What's going on there guys, HL Films here, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about how I lost my Mavic Mini in the woods for over a week. So on February 10th, I came home from school, and I decided to take my Mini out for a flight. So I used up the first battery, just flying around, getting some shots, and I was thinking of doing a range test. So once the first battery died, I popped the second battery in, and then I started to do the range test. And the first mistake I made was not checking the wind direction. I don't remember the wind direction of that day, but I should have checked. So whenever I'm coming home, I can go downwind. So my drone doesn't be working that hard fighting against the wind, and I would have a higher chance of getting home. And the second mistake I made was flying over a forest, because if at any point, if I had to land somewhere because of battery life or something like that, then if I wasn't over any trees, if it was just on like flat ground, then I'll have a lot higher chance of finding it and a higher chance of it not being broken. So I kept on with the flight and I hit one mile. And the thing is, I was actually having a pretty good connection. And then I hit 10,000 feet, the most range I've ever gotten with that drone. And then the video connection started cutting out, but I still had remote controller connection. So then I hit 11,000 feet, 12,000 feet, and then 13,000 feet. And then that's where I decided to turn around. And the thing is, I didn't really have any video signal, so I couldn't really see where I was at. I'll only get like a few frames of where I was actually Actually, yeah, because the video signal was just cutting out pretty badly. I was around like a 55 or like 50% battery, which I should have at least been 55% battery or more. So I turned around and started coming back home and then it hit 10% battery life. And if you guys don't know, whenever you hit 10% battery life with a DJI drone, the drone starts to auto landing. But the thing is, I was able to override that by pushing up on the left stick. So I was able to keep the drone in the air without it landing. And I was able to still push forward too. So I kept coming home and I thought I would have enough battery life to make it home. But then around 7,000 feet, I lost all connection, all video signal, all remote controller signal, everything. Everything. And the thing is, I don't really worry too much about it because I lost connection before and it would come right back. So I waited a couple seconds and I waited even longer and still nothing. And the thing is, the drone was in auto landing mode. So if I lost connection, then I had no control over it. So that means it was going to land automatically. And that's what it did. I didn't get any connection back. Didn't come home. It just landed where it was. So I clicked fly my drone on the DJI Fly app and I got the last GPS coordinates of it. And it was going to be around the area because it was in the auto landing mode. So I started my journey to go find my Mavic Mini. So it was like over a mile away and I went there. So once I finally got there, my heart dropped because I noticed that the last GPS coordinates was over the forest and it could be anywhere it could be in a tree it could be on the ground and who knows if it even did land there so i searched the forest i looked all over the ground i looked in some trees and there was even a field that was really close by the field and i looked there too didn't find anything so i had to go back home empty-handed and i was really really sad because i only had the drone for like two months and i got it for christmas and i really wanted it. so the next day after school i went back and i looked everywhere i looked in the forest the field there was even another forest across the street i looked there still nothing so then on the third day i made a plan of where i was gonna look on google maps and i even brought my friend but we still found nothing so i actually came up with an idea so i actually have a second drone but the thing is this drone is not the best it's not like the mavic mini because the range is not that good at all it uses like a weak wi-fi signal and the camera is really not that good either so i flew it up in the air and i looked over the trees and i was honestly losing connection i couldn't go that far but i still looked and then i bring it back down and i looked at the footage the footage was not the best but i'm pretty sure if it was up there i probably would be able to see it but i still couldn't see anything so then i searched the forest i searched the forest across the street there was also another forest across the field and i looked there too and i still could not find anything so i kept going back almost every single day and I still could not find it. I even made up new plans on Google Maps and I even recorded two videos about it also. And I still could not find anything until a week and five days later. So I came home from school and I noticed that it was actually pretty windy that day. So I thought that maybe if it was in the tree, it probably fell out. And the thing is, I brought my tripod, my phone, but I decided not to film anything. And I was just walking around the forest, listening to music. And then I turned around and I saw the drone sitting under a bush. And I was so happy. Like I've been walking over a mile almost every single day for a week and five days. And I finally found it and I was so happy. And I looked at it and there was really no damage on it. At all. So I walked home and I dried it off with a hair dryer because it was actually pretty wet because it's been raining for a couple days and then I let it dry out and then once it was done drying out I got a second battery and started charging it and then once the battery was done charging I put the battery inside the drone and then I pressed the power button and the lights came on and then I actually turned on the drone and the drone actually turned on like all the lights were on the gimbal was moving the gimbal didn't look broken at all everything seemed to be fine so then I connected the controller and it actually connected and then I connected my phone and then I actually had video signal the camera seemed to be fine everything seemed to be fine until I got the air codes so the air codes I got was the IV you cannot initialize air and the gimbal cannot connect air and i tried everything to try to fix these errors and i still cannot fix it i even bought new imu because i thought that was the problem but nope the imu is not the problem and the thing is i spent like 40 bucks on that and i didn't even need it so then i kept trying everything to try to fix it and then i found out what was wrong with it so the main board is actually water damaged and i would need a new main board but the thing is like 120 dollars and i don't have 120 dollars to spend so i tried to come up with some ideas of how i was going to make money and then i decided to sell my computer also guys don't worry i have two computers so i sold that computer and i have two options of what i was going to do with the money so I can either fix the Mavic Mini or I can buy a whole new drone. And I decided to buy a whole new drone. So I decided to buy a DJI Mavic Air. And here it is. And if you guys are wondering why I bought a Mavic Air instead of the DJI Mini 2, well, there's actually some reason for that. So the first thing was, is that I was actually going on vacation very soon. And this Mavic Air was in my area and it was in my price range too. Also, the Mavic Air has obstacle avoidance where the DJI Mini 2 does not. I've also seen a bunch of videos where people crash the Mavic Air and the Mavic Air seems pretty durable. So I'm pretty sure the Mavic Air is more durable than the DJI Mini 2. Also, the Mavic Air has quick release props. It also has internal storage 
storage. The Mavic Air still does have pretty good range, but the DJI Mini 2 does have better range, but the DJI Mini 2 uses OcuSync, which is better than the Wi-Fi like the DJI Mavic Air has. And if you guys are wondering what the Mavic Mini looks like, here it is. So as you guys see, there's actually no damage on it at all. So yeah, really the only thing wrong with it is the main board, which is under here. Also, if you guys are wondering, it still won't fly because of those air codes. So yeah, I definitely need a new main board. So if you guys are ever going to do a range test, make sure you check the wind direction and always try to avoid trees because if you ever get caught up in the same situation as me, you don't want to end up landing in trees. And make sure you always keep line of sight. It would also be nice if you can put a tracker on it also because once you lose connection with the controller, then the app can no longer track the drone. So once you lose connection, the last GPS corners you have is whenever the drone was still connected. I still got pretty lucky though because the drone actually has no physical damage on it. It's just the internals. And if you guys want to see it start up, I'm going to start it up right now. Pressing the button. You guys see the gimbal seems like it's working, but there actually is damage on the main board. As you guys see, the gimbal's not stabilizing, and you can also see these lights flashing. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys learned something from this video, and there'll be a lot more videos coming. So thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.